before I do, can I just make a statement? Number one, my family is 100% pro-law enforcement and pro-animal rights. I've been rescuing animals for 15 years. Some of the animals that I take on are really hard cases. They're unadoptable otherwise. And I worked with my good friend Jim and he has taught me what he knows about dog training and I've been able to help those animals and I'd like to continue to do so. Unfortunately, the court has put a restriction on me that I can't even be near my own animals because of this accident that happened. In this particular case, I did have an elderly cat. She was dying. I wanted her to live her last days in freedom. Probably a Disney fantasy, probably naive. I found what I thought was a nice place where she might be able to find rodents, live by a stream. I wasn't trying to hide what I was doing. I was just trying to find her the best possible home for her last days. Unfortunately, she ran under my back tire. When I saw that in my rearview mirror, that she was writhing and twitching, I was devastated. And I did not have another mechanism for euthanasia. I did not have a way to, to help her. And so I used the only mechanism that I had at my disposal and I ended her suffering. And unfortunately, it's being charged as a felony, but I have zero criminal record, nothing more than a speeding ticket. And I'm terribly sorry about all of this. And I'm pro cause, I'm pro animal life, I'm pro all of those things. And my record demonstrates that. This was a horrible mistake. I paid for it in terms of legal fees. My reputation has been damaged. You know, I got people mad at me that don't even know me. And I really just want all this to end. I'm willing to do what's right for the justice system, for the people, for animals, for anybody who's involved in this case. But I don't think I'm a felon. I don't feel like I'm a felonious person. I have a sterling reputation in the community of helping people and helping animals and two rock star kids who are outstanding. And one of them is a law student and she's written briefs on animal cruelty. We are pro animals. So, so this whole thing is a giant tragedy, a huge misunderstanding, and I wanna make it right. Why didn't you just pick up the cat and bring the cat to a vet? At that time. That was my mistake. If, if I were to pick her up, every second that I had her in my hands or that I had her in the truck would have prolonged her suffering. And I couldn't let her suffer even one second longer than she needed to suffer. So, you know, did I consider picking her up and taking her to the vet? Absolutely. Was there, like, she just was going to suffer. She was going to suffer and they were going to euthanize her anyway. There was no way from that injury when she ran under the car that she was going to recover from that injury. But you're not a vet and I'm not a vet, so you don't really know that unless you bring her to a vet to give her a Peggy, when you see a cat writhing like that, when you see her not able to get up and move out of her own way, I think the vet would have come to the same conclusion and her, her suffering would have been prolonged. Okay. Okay. Thank, right. you, Peggy. thank you, Peggy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.